Hi, my name is Pierre. I'm a sales engineer with Actuate, currently based in Paris. I'm going to take you through a short demo. Today we'll see how we can be creative with BERT. For that, we will build a waterfall chart. The waterfall chart can be used to explain the gradual transition of values for an entity. In this example, the chart shows the total sale in the first column and the sales for each city thereafter. The difficulty here is to make the column float above the x-axis. Let's see how we can trick BERT to do this. Let's start with a report design that already has the data set. Series 2 starts with the grand total. It then shows the values for each category. Series 1 shows the remainder of grand total minus the sum of each precedent value in Series 1. I obtain Series 1 by adding some script on the unfetch method of the data set. Now, let's add an HTML5 chart to the design. I will choose a stacked bar chart. Then I will apply a different theme to my chart. In select data, I choose the category, the first series, and then the second series. At this point, we'll preview the result. Previewing the chart shows that the grand total is in the wrong place. I'll go back to the design and unselect the group by, since the data is already grouped and I don't want to force any sorting. This looks better, but I now, I now need to make series one transparent. In format chart, I will select series palette, uncheck auto, and change the color for series one. Unfortunately, I cannot choose transparent, so let's choose white for now. I previewed the, the chart. And we can see that it's white on, on top of a, a grid, which is not good. So I'll go back to the XML source. I'll find the section for palette. And I will change the transparency and put it to zero. Let's preview again. So this time, our series is transparent, but we still see the outline and the shadow. For the shadow, I will add some script to remove it. The script is very simple and added to the scripting section of the chart. For the outline, I go back to series one and make the outline transparent. Now we preview the chart and series two really seems to float on the chart. Last little thing, I'll remove the legend, which is not necessary. And here we have our waterfall chart. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please, don't forget to visit Bird Exchange for more information.